Okay, Bear, congratulations on your Emmy nomination for Outlander. Thank you. Um, where were you when you found out the great news? Where was I? I was at home. Um, and uh, I think I was. I think I was actually doing Pilates. Less is more. I think I was doing Pilates. I was. Yeah, I was like in the middle of some crunches or something, and then the phone rang, and I thought nobody would call with bad news. Right. So I think that's where I was when I found out. And the, the Outlander so fans are some Jewish of the most passionate fan. fans of any show. Um, how, what, what kind of um, reaction do you get when you run into one of the fanatics? Uh, it's funny you mention the Outlander fans because I saw a group of them at the corner holding signs with my name wow. with like a plaid backdrop, maybe five or ten of them. Mm -hmm. uh, and I rolled down the window and just yelled, Outlander! And they freaked out. I, I, what I love about it is I'm, I'm not unfamiliar with fandom, having worked on... Battlestar Galactica and Walking Dead and Terminator the Sarah Connor Chronicles but everything that I've done has been sort of hardcore male dominated genre stuff mm -hmm. not entirely male dominated but the Outlander fandom is, is a different demographic and their passion about it is it's just different they've loved these books for 20 years and they feel a sense of I think ownership of it that I am very respectful of and I wanted to make sure they knew that I was going to come in and do my best to bring this material to life as passionately and respectful as I could. And, and I think they gave me the, the benefit of the doubt. They've been wonderful. They've been very supportive. Do you have an Emmy speech ready to go in case you happen to win? I do not. I am wearing a kilt and I figured that, that will, <laughs> that'll be half my speech right there. That speaks volumes. Uh, but uh, no, I usually don't think in advance, but uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, well, best of luck. Thank you so much.